question six. So let's have a look here. So part A says write down in terms of theta the size of angle AOB. So we're talking about this angle just in here. Well, it's on a straight line here, isn't it? So therefore, 180. Oh, wait a minute. It's in some radians, isn't it? All right. So it's not just going to be 180. We're talking about pi. All right. So this bit in here has to be pi and then take away theta. That would give me these two together, but we only want AOB. So it's going to be half of that. Right. Now part B. Okay. So let's just move that so you can see part B. Right. It says show that the area of the logo is, is this thing here. Right. Okay. Let's go back up here. Let's start thinking about right, what's going on. So let's first of all, let's think about like this, the, the big section, all right? Think about what's happening just there. How do we work out the area of that? Well, how do I work out the area of the circle? So that's pi r squared, so 2r squared. And then I only want part of the circle, don't we? We've just got a sector. So it's going to be, we've got theta over... 2 pi. What's that now going to give me? Well, that's 4, 4r four squared. It's got 4r squared pi theta over that. So let's cancel this down and it's going to equal 2 theta r squared. Right? Neatly, pi's cancel out. Right? That's kind of convenient. Right, now let's think about these two but together. So the angle of these two together, imagine those two sectors coming together just to form a slightly bigger sector, or twice as big. So the angle there would be the, uh, would be pi minus theta, right? Because it's this times two. Because remember, that's just the one side. So therefore, we're going to have, and then oh, that's over two pi. And then multiplied by pi, the radius of this is r, so just r squared. Okay, so that cancels with that one. So we've got pi minus theta, and we're going to times that by r squared, and remember we're, we're still over 2. Right, now if I just piece these guys together, all right, see where we've got to now. So we're going to have 2 theta r squared. And then we're going to have plus pi r squared over 2, plus pi r squared over 2, and take away uh, theta r squared over 2. Now the clue, really, in terms of what you're going to do next, is, is really where we're trying to get to, right? Because you can see here, look, they've taken out half r squared. So let's take out half r squared. And a lot of life is going to be made so much easier. So if we take out half r squared here, let's see what we're left with. Right, so what I'm going to be left with here is 4 theta. Okay, because I've like, taken out half there, so it's like same as same. Four. And then we're going to have plus pi, because I've taken out the r squared and the 2. And then we're going to minus theta. Oh, 4 theta, take away theta, that's 3 theta. There we go. So pi, and then we've got half r squared, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, the final bit of the question says find the perimeter of the logo, giving your answer in its simplest form. Right. So just having a quick look at this for a second. What have we got? So it's distance all the way around the outside. So let's think. I've got 1R, 2R, 3Rs, okay, and 4Rs. That's that bit. And then we've then got arc, arc, arc. Alright? So I'm going to do mine up here just so, just so you can sort of see it next to the diagram. So we've got 4R. 
So that's these bits here. And then we're going to add, let's think about this arc here first of all. So that's theta over 2 pi. It's just like what we are doing before. And then it's multiplied by pi d, isn't it? But by pi 2r. So that's going to be um, 2r is, is 4r because radius of that is 2r. And then we're also going to add, let's squeeze this bit in here. So then we've got pi minus theta over 2 pi. And then that's multiplied by pi times 2r. OK? So we're just looking at this bit just here. 2r. Now there's lots of cancelling down I can do here. All right? So just move it along here a little bit. So what have we got? We've got 4r. Now if I look at all of this here, so they cancel, I've got the 4 and the 2. So it's plus, got theta, and then we're just left with 2r. And then we've got pi minus theta, and then look, pi 2, 2, pi. It's just going to be that. Oh, right, OK, let's just tidy this, because we just, just go a little bit further. Plus pi 2r, and then plus pi r minus theta r. And then we've got 4r. I've got, oh, oh, I've got theta 2r minus theta r. So that's plus theta r. And then don't forget, I've got pi r. And there we are. Maybe take out the r. Okay, 4 plus theta plus pi. There you go. Either of those two would be fine. All right. So that question looks really scary. All right. Um, but actually, when you get into it, just some basic circle sector work. There you go.